Hey everybody, it's Amy Hughes from the Isle of Hope near Savannah, Georgia, and I am in a hurry. It's my father-in-law's 72nd birthday, and I just got in from the office, and I've got supper on the stove, but I need to whip up a birthday cake. So I thought I would just film this and show you how easy it is to take the best ever vanilla cupcake recipe that I shared with you previously and turn it into a cake. Because after all, most cupcake and cake recipes are interchangeable. Um, so, it's very simple, four steps. We're gonna cream our Philly and our cream cheese. Then we're gonna add two cups of sugar, slowly. Then we're gonna add four eggs, one at a time. And then we'll mix our flours, our self-rising flour and our plain flour. And then we're gonna add some vanilla to some milk. And then we're just gonna alternate that in our batter. And boom, that's our batter, it's done. We put it in the oven. Um, while it's in the oven, we'll whip up our icing. And then boom, we've got a birthday cake within an hour. All right, so let's get busy. First, we'll take a stick of butter and a package of the star of the show, Philadelphia cream cheese, yum. Cream cheese makes your cakes so moist and delicious. So let's whip this up. Slowly add in two cups of sugar and beat until pale and fluffy. Then add in four eggs, one at a time, beating for a minute after each addition. The Philadelphia cream cheese, the butter, the sugar, the eggs, they're all nice and creamy and combined. I turned off the mixer so you could hear me though. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour, we have plain flour and self-rising flour, and we're gonna take one and a quarter cups of the plain flour, and then one and a half cups of the self-rising flour, and we're gonna whisk that together. Now the really nice thing about using this recipe is that you don't have to bother with baking soda and baking powder and salt and leavening agents like that. You just let the self-rising flour and the flour do their magic and they work together beautifully and saves you time. So, so here is one and a half cups. There we go. Now we simply whisk this together. And we're great there. Now we're gonna take one teaspoon of Mexican vanilla and we're gonna pour it into one cup of milk. I go heavy on the vanilla. I like it better that way. So one generous teaspoon of Mexican vanilla. All right, now we're gonna add this to our batter. We're gonna add it in pretty slowly. We'll put in, we'll add it in thirds. First we'll add a third of the flour then a third of the milk, then the second third of the flour, then the second third of the milk, then the last bit of the flour, and the last bit of the milk. Well, one of the reasons that I enjoy making cupcakes is that it's so easy to prepare your pan. All you do is you pop your cupcake liners in there, and then you're ready, and you just pour your batter right on in there. But with a cake, you want to take just a minute to make sure your pans are prepared properly. So I'm taking a plastic baggie, and I've got a blob of Crisco, just rubbed it all over my nine inch cake pan, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of flour here, sprinkle it around like that, and then I dump it around like that to make sure that I cover all the edges. And then I dump out the extra. Voila, see that's perfect. And I actually like to use these little guys too. It's just a wax paper liner, and I put it in there. So I've got both of my pans prepared. And now let's put our batter in there. We're just gonna divide it among both pans, nice and even, and then we'll tap our pan on the counter to make sure that we get all the bubbles out, the air bubbles out. Bake your cake for about 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven until a cake tester comes out clean. While our cake is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and make our icing. So the first step is to melt 11 ounces of good quality bittersweet chocolate in a double boiler and then let it cool. You can also melt it in the microwave if you like to do it that way. The next step in making our icing is to whisk together three cups of powdered sugar, a third of a cup of Valrhona cocoa powder, and then a heaping eighth of a teaspoonful of salt. So we've got that, we're just gonna whisk it together. All right, that's all ready. Now we're going to cream our butter, one stick of butter, and then of course, the star of the show, 
Philadelphia cream cheese. That's what make this, makes this ice icing so good. Oh, I get so excited, I can't even talk. Now we're gonna slowly pour this melted chocolate into our whipped up butter and Philly. To finish the icing, stir in one cup of sour cream. When your cake comes out of the oven, run a knife around the edge to loosen it and flip it over to cool on some wire racks. All right, we've got our gorgeous chocolate frosting and we're in a hurry. So we're gonna get this cake iced lickety split. Now what I do when I need to frost my cakes immediately is I'll pop them in the, up, or in the freezer when they come out of the oven for about, oh, I don't know, about 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever it takes to cool them down. I've also got a drawer on my in my fridge that's a rapid cool drawer and that works as well. So I've got this on a spitting pedestal here. We're just gonna spin this around, that's right. Spread it out. I've also lined underneath the cake with a little bit of parchment paper. And that keeps my cake plate pretty so I don't get chocolate icing everywhere. And then I'll just pull those out when I'm done. There we go, there's that middle layer. And here's our top layer. We've dusted off all of our crumbs. This one's not going to slide around too much because these layers are nice and even, but sometimes you can put a you can put a, a stick in there to keep it even if you need to. So we'll lay some more of this wonderful chocolate icing on here. Plop it on there, that seems to work well. All right, spin this around again. That seems to help spread it out and even it out. See that, doesn't that look yummy? Don't you want a piece of birthday cake? Don't you want it to be your birthday? Now I'm also gonna do some on the sides. I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna do a thin crumb coat and just spin it around a little bit so I can get a nice thin layer to seal in the crumbs. And then we'll go back and thicken that up on the sides a little bit. nice layer all around. Now I'm going to go back and add some more on the sides. Lop it on there. The nice thing about a homemade birthday cake is it's not supposed to look perfect. It's not supposed to look like it came from the bakery. It's supposed to look yummy and homemade and just like your grandma made it. And it's supposed to remind you of when you were a little kid and you loved your birthday. So swirl the icing around the edges there. So it makes it nice and homemade looking. And then we're gonna swirl it on the top as well. we'll put the final swoopies on top there. Then we'll pull out our sheets of parchment. candles in there and we're done tada we've taken our cupcake recipe and made it into a birthday cake well I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you'll make it for your family good night